Alrighty, so got to take a look at a few things. Shout out to Alpha. They hit me up and uh, yeah, it seems we've got some things to look at. I'm excited. I think we've got the job change. So with that being said, oh, let's go. Let's take a look. Again, shout out to the homie Alpha. Uh, I wasn't aware that they were going to drop stuff. So um, yeah, this is interesting. So we got the gem feature. Let's see how this is looking. This kind of reminds me of Dolkan Battle, truth be told. It really does. So there we have some of the gems. I, I believe there's a whole list on what the gems are doing. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, yes, here they are. So a gem that can increase additional attack can be equipped in the red slot. Uh, a gem that increases additional defense can be equipped in the green slot. Um, HP blue slot, MP purple slot, attack. So attack's going to be red. Attack speed, that's going to be in the yellow slot. Cooldown reduction, yellow slot. Critical hit damage, purple slot. Damage increase, red slot. Damage taken, decrease, green slot. Defense, green slot. Defense penetration, yellow slot. HP blue slot. Oh, so additional HP is blue. Oh, no, yeah, so that stays the same. Okay, my bad. Um, <laughs> healing given increase, blue slot. Healing received increase, purple slot. So these are the gems, and obviously with each uh, additional um, stat increase, there is a certain slot for them. So there we have it. So that's where all the slots. So yeah, it's four gem slots by the looks of it. Well, no, there's five over here. Okay, I'm curious to see because there are some more slots down here. I'm curious to see on how far this extends. Obviously, this is going to play a huge, huge role in terms of um, buffing up a character. Oh, wait, no, purple slot. But blue slot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, how far out are we going? And more importantly, if if there is going to be multiple slots, this is 100% giving me Dokkan Battle vibes in terms of the, the potential system that their game has. They've got so many, like, slots to kind of, well, not exactly gem slots, but, like, you know, slots to open, should I say. So that I'm getting that type of five that I'm seeing because there's there, there, there seems to be a lot more slots to be opened up. But again, this will play a very crucial role in terms of buffing up our characters and giving them as much um, stats uh, in in terms of whatever they're trying to cater to, being if it crit damage, HP, etc. Of course. So uh, this is going to play a huge, huge role in terms of buffing up our characters, which means more difficult raids to come. So something that we're gonna have to cater to hopefully they don't go about making it a bit stingy on getting the gems because i mean if you look at it with the game currently right now especially when we're trying to get level up uh, level up items you know it's a, it's a bit of a ball like let's just call it how it is <laughs> so i'm hoping there's a uh, game where that caters to giving us um random drops of gems of course just like how they do gear drops i assume that's what they're going to do right developers don't make it hard on ourselves um skins yes we all know this is happening um, we know that it's planned for the global launch, so um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to cater to this. Now, Netmarble is known for giving stats out for skins. We've seen it from Seven Daily Sins, because that's the only other Netmarble game that I've played that I know of about skins, and we know that skins do give out stat buffs, so that could be the case. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. For the most part, I know a lot of people... I and mean, well, then again, this is a single-player game, so they can do so. Right? Yeah, I don't care. What the hell? Yeah, there's no PvP. God damn. Well... You already know what's got to be done. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's the banner one. And then there's going to be a skin pack. Oh, we are 100% getting into these skins, bro. This skin for her looks beautiful. And I'm only seeing the top half. Come on now. So, um, yeah, it seems that with the release of Chai Yen, we could probably expect skin releases, hopefully. And then that will then release Jin Wu skin that we know of, being the minor and um, the other one, which I forgot. And then we got the job change. It is Monarch of Shadows Rebel Leader. What on God's green earth is happening? Okay, so, clear story, chapter 8, protect of the throne. Wait, chapter 8? What the hell? That's so far behind. Oh, whatever. Reach 70,000 total power. Okay. And then reach level 3 to 5. Okay, so, again, this could all change, right? Um. Oh, wait, I need to remember. They're, they're also catering to... Oh, my God. I'm, okay, I need to remember that they're going to be catering to the global... Um, progression right so it makes sense to have it this early on so for us who've been playing the game a month early obviously we're going to be past all of this so for us it's going to be activated instantly right Th this drop chain should be available instantly because um, us because we're all kind of joining together right so they're going to be catering and starting from the very beginning with global so 
Um, that, that's completely understandable. It seems that we are going to be getting a brand new skill. So this is again something that we knew that was going to happen. Total power increase, obtain st uh, stat points. So it seems that with the new job change, there is going to be no new ultimate, but a new skill will be coming inbound. So I assume that um, maybe there's more job chains to come. Um, otherwise, they can just add in skills at a later time. But I feel like with ultimates, that has to come out. I feel like with a new job change, they should really actively look into doing it so that um, it's an ultimate, new ultimate, rather than another new skill. Because I feel like with a new skill and a new ruin, they can easily just add that in with like an update, right? You know? And then through that, we'll have to use... Um, our, well, f yeah, from that, RNG will have to be in our favor in terms of creating a ruin, so, yeah. But it'll be interesting to see. I feel like for the most part with the conditions, e uh, to those that have been playing the game early, I feel like it's going to be easily obtainable. Um, again, they're, they're probably just going to work off from how Global's doing things, so that's going to be cool. But I'm curious to see on what this is doing, so that, that's interesting. And then, upcoming instant dungeon bosses. Oh, we got more. Alright, we've got Wyvern, Fema, Egress. So there's that, and um, don't know your name. Either way, cool bosses, new bosses. We'll take those. Happy days. And I believe that's everything for right now. So interesting, interesting. Rebel leader, Monarch of Shadows, Rebel leader. That's the new job change. We're gonna get a new skill. No ultimate, but I'm curious to see what this new skill is. I'm um, yeah. That's gonna be interesting to see if it's gonna be actually good. <laughs> Because like I said, everyone's using a specific skill. So, yeah, things are lined up. Costumes, new characters we know about. Gem's going to be a thing. New um, uh, job type. It, or job change, should I say. Rebel leader, there we go. And then, of course, new instance bosses for the dungeons. I assume, actually, this is probably going to be for the gems then. Right? Because once we hit floor 80, that's when we see herself, right? Because uh, she, if anyone doesn't know, she still is... Um, the, the, the person within this armor, just an FYI, a, 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 a female Icarus. But yeah, that is pretty much everything. So again, huge shout out to uh, Alpha, giving us a helping hand. I think the gem system is something that I need to, uh, yeah, something I'm going to be catering to. I do like the symbol that they give you, but because there's multiple gems in this little box, I assume they are going to be farmable. So there, there's that. And then, oh, just an FYI, I think the pricing for, if they do choose to go down the route of not doing free-to-play costumes, um, I think the pricing for costumes is going to be around about 10 to $15 from what I've seen. I don't know if they'll make it cheaper. Oh, I feel like they should, to be honest. But um, that's that's the current costing right now to anyone who's looking to purchase skins. So just an FYI. But I think, yeah, that's everything for now. Um, yeah, we'll see what more they've got cooking at a later time. But more importantly, next week is global. We're only a couple of days off.